We were interested in sequencing or decoding the, the zebra finch genome because most animals instinctively vocalize sounds, for example, cats meow, dogs bark, whereas in the zebra finch, songs are learned and passed down from the father. These songs only last a few seconds and they only learn one song from their father and it's passed down generation to generation with minor changes to the song. So songbirds as a whole are a great model organism for studying a variety of traits, most notably neuroscience. After sequencing the zebra finch genome, one of the surprising findings was we have seen genes going up and down in the brain in previous studies, but in this study, we've not only seen those genes reproduced, but we've added hundreds of other genes to that list of genes that are going up and down in the brain in response to learning song as well as reproducing song. And we hope the study of all of these genes going up and down will give us a very deep insight into the understanding of vocal learning, not only in the bird, but also with parallels to human speech. There's a lot of analogies that you can draw from the human and the zebra finch brain from an anatomical standpoint. And this is very important in terms of understanding disorders in human where they're not able to acquire speech or verbalize speech, such as autism and certain stages of Parkinson's. We hope that the zebra finch will be a model for us to study what's going on at the molecular level in the brain to better understand how those changes are reflecting in human speech.